today it is time for a new video and a new first impression and this time it is actually with a older palette and that is from a Yves place and that is the Nubian 2. I did a video with things I want to buy? How can I never remember what my own videos are named? Am I a little bit? Oot. Um, I can't remember. It thinks I... I have no idea. <laughs> I will leave it up here if you want to see it. I talked about the Nubian 2 palette from US Place. I think this was one of their first palettes. I have been wanting this for such a long time and now I finally caved. It is one of their 12 pans. And it is one with the bigger pan size. And this palette... I don't know what's with this, but every time I've seen it, I'm like, I want you in my life, and now I finally got it. So I'm going to do a first impression look with this. I have a little idea, actually, what I want to do. I swatched a little bit before. So I'm going to prime my eyes, and then we just hop into this. Vidhiho. I will start with this Morocco shade and have it in my crease and I think this will be I don't know I swatched a little bit before but can I ever like decide what I want to do so I'm going to start with this in my crease and I think this might be their second eyeshadow palette the Nubian palette was before this because this is Nubian 2 but I don't know if it was a palette in between these. I'm not that good with the, the earlier palettes from Yves uh, Place. Because I didn't buy Yves Place at that time. I think when I started to use Yves Place it was around when the Zulu palette was kind of new. I, I have actually no idea. I am not 100% sure what I want to do. Did I say I was before? Probably I did. Okay, it feels like I want to take something to deepen this down. And I think I might go in with this Madagascar. I don't think though if this is a warm brown. It's kind, but I don't know if it's so much darker. But I think I actually will take that one and deepen down my crease. And I have for once washed wash my brushes, but I don't know which brushes I want to use. So I'm going to use, or maybe, I, because this is purple and, and this didn't swatch like any good at all. Maybe better on my finger, but oh, on my hand it looks like this. And the same with Kenya. Oh, do you see? I actually take Kenya and I will see how that looks. Because it didn't swatch that good, but that doesn't mean it's not good. I just want something a little bit deeper. I have nothing to complain with like this. So I think this might be a good shade. On my eyelid, I think I'm going with these two. Or might this, but I think this one because this is a little bit more orange. So I'm going to go in with Egypt on my outer half. And I don't know how dark this will be. On my swatch, it wasn't that dark. Maybe not on the eye. Ooh. Feels like this has a little bit of a gold sheen to it. My mirror is so far away. Like, I really, I really do like this shade. It's just that my mirror is so far away, so I can't see shit. Okay, I really like this. It has some gold sheens to it, so that looks really, really good. So I'm going in with Nefertiti, ne Nefertiti. I'm sorry, 
yeah <laughs> so going in with this on the wrist Ooh, this picked up so good on the brush can you see this no you can't can you see it so I'm taking this on the rest of my lid and I should really like take a small little mirror a little bit closer because this maybe I should really go and check if I need glasses but I just don't want to and this is like the amazing shimmers as it normally is from Yves Place. Like the latest one I have done, first impressions, I have been a little bit disappointed with the shimmers. Not in the whatever palette from Colourpop, but before that I have like not been that impressed. So I'm so happy to use a Yves Place palette with this amazing shimmers. The only thing I am not super impressed by the matte shadows. The one that I had in my crease, the first one, Morocco, the orange, that was really good, but I don't know if the others are. So maybe I need to do a look with only mattes to see with this palette how that will look. I wonder now, I haven't, I don't usually play that much with my Yves Place palettes. I've done some, I did Yves Place week, but that was a long time ago. And I have done three looks one palette with Tribe and the Dusay. And okay, I have played with some of my Yves Place palettes because I've had... I don't know if it was the Mini Masquerade, I think, that I had as a palette of the month in the beginning of the year. That year, this year. But other than that, I usually don't take them out that much. I don't know why, because I really like Yves Place. Okay, I think I'm just going to go in with Kenya a little bit more with this smaller blending brush and just swoop it in my crease I think I like it I think I though would wish for Egypt to be a little bit darker but at the same time I have this one that is really really dark Ooh, this is like brown and okay I'm going to swatch it a little bit better for you This is like brown and purple in some way, some shape or form. I don't think the camera picks it up though. But I really like it. But okay, I'm going to fix my base and then we're going to do the under eyes. And I'm going to see if I can take this swatch off my hand. Maybe not. But yeah, I'm going to fix my base and then I come back and now I have stains on my fingers so time for base so for my under eyes I actually have like no idea I think I might just go in with Morocco this one and put it on my lower lash this was quite pigmented so tapping it off and smudging it on my lower lash And I think I want to go in with Kenya, this darker one, and just put it... Maybe I should actually try to take... I think I will try to take Egypt, this one, the green I had out here, and just see if it is possible to put it like in here. And this. So I actually think I'm happy like this. I'm going to put something in my waterline, put on mascara and take a lippy. And now I'm going to say something that I usually don't say. I think I want something nude. 
So I will fix the rest of my eyes, take a lipstick and then I come back. So this is the finished look for my waterline. I use Honey Dude from Colourpop and on my lips I took Riot from Lime Crime. Maybe this isn't that nude. Kinda nude. So this is my first impression look with the Nubian 2 from US Place. And I used Morocco, Nefertiti, Egypt and Kenya. I think and I I really like the Morocco shade the other matte shades they felt really really dry I used this Kenya as well to deepen down my crease it worked good but I don't know about the matte formula I know that this was one of their first palettes I don't know if they have like reformulated it later or not they felt a little bit drier some of US Place mattes are dry they work good but they are dry because I think like the thing that use place do the best is shimmers. It's amazing shimmers. And I have nothing to complain about these two that I used in this look. Really good, didn't need any glitter glue, just took my eyeshadow primer. So I'm happy that I have this palette and it's going to be fun to play with it more. I don't know if I will do a free looks one palette or if I maybe will do a palette bingo with it. I don't know. I started to think about doing like two looks one palette because it goes a little bit faster for me to record and edit than a free looks one palette. And if you want me to do that instead or maybe I can do both but maybe do a little bit more of two looks one palette. Let me know and I will fix it. But I am happy with this. Uh, it's not my favorite Yves Place palette. Because it still is the tribe I think. But I'm happy that I have it. And the shimmers worked amazing. And it's going to be fun to play with this gold one. And also with this one. Just to see how they look on the eyes. But I am pleased with this look and I like it. I wish maybe that the green was a little bit darker but it like shift in gold a little bit. Really like it. So I really hope that you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!